What's up everyone? And today I'm checking out Urayama Dam. Or at least I think it's called Ulayama. No, it's something Yama. This is the Yama. Yama is mountain. I don't know what the Ura means, depending on the kanji or, or whatnot, but I know it's uh, Urayama Dam. I'm, I'm pretty confident on that name right now. So this is the view. I parked right below down there. And um, to be honest, I thought there was nobody here because where I was parked and everything, there was like, uh, there was literally nobody. Um, the only car parked in the parking lot. Then we walked in, there's like this little table, like a reception table. You gotta fill out your name, your address and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I think for COVID precautions. And we walked down this narrow hallway with a bunch of pictures and everything. Got to uh, this sketchy elevator, really, really spooky elevator. And uh, after that, we went off the spooky elevator and came over here and then it's like, bam, amazing. This is what you see when you come right out of the elevator. There's also a group of, of school children over there. That's the second tour group. I got up here and I saw the first tour group. They were going down the elevator, about to go down. Pretty stoked to see other people because I was kind of spooked out of my mind. But this is just truly beautiful. Took a couple pictures. Gonna make it like the new screensaver for my phone maybe or the desktop of my, my laptop maybe. But uh, you can also take stairs all the way up here. It's 132 meters. That's how high up we are, 132. I think that's, that's what the sign said. There was, um, on the way up there was a poster board and the poster board had a comparison of this dam's height to the Eiffel Tower. I think, uh, well, it's in, it's in the, the little, the little B-roll I took. You can look at it there. I paused at it because I thought it was interesting. There's a, a water escape down below where we parked. Another bridge over there. As I was coming up here, there was uh, two different dams. One was Urayama, where we are now. And the other one was... I don't know, it started with a T. I want to say Takashima, but I feel like I could just be thinking Takashima because it rolls off the tongue and I know it started with a T. There is a little, little dowel thing over here. It's marble, little rabbits on it. I know a rabbit is Usagi, but I don't know if it's like a sundial or something. Another sculpture. It looks like it, it wraps all the way around. I'm not quite sure though. Just truly amazed by the beauty of this. This dam is inside of Chichibu. Um, C-H-I-C-H-I-B-U. Uh, we tried to find Chichibu before, but we weren't using any Google Maps or anything. We were just kind of driving. Because it's about an hour away from where I live, Tokigawa Machi. This is a turtle with like air or waves going out of it. Turtle descending from the sky almost. Yeah, pretty stoked. The, the weather has been absolute miserable, just straight miserable. It still hasn't um, cleared up. And then it says overcast and then it starts raining and then all of a sudden there's like an hour of sunlight that just comes out of nowhere, like blue sky, sunlight. And I'm like, oh, I gotta take like uh, this opportunity. I gotta go do something. And then it just starts thundering and you're like, oh, what's going on? And just bam, showers. There's a parking up here, but it's closed. A little bit intrigued by that, but it's just truly magnificent. So I, I'm assuming if you're coming from that side, there's a parking over there with cars. So you, this way seems to be closed, but I think before you could drive up over here. That way seems to be open because I see cars parked there. I think maybe all the employees work over there. So you can go that way. I came from down below where you guys saw. There's another entrance right here. I don't know what this is for. Little porta potties. 
but it seems like this side is completely closed. I don't know if it's because of construction or due to COVID, they only want one entrance or exit. I'm a little frightened right now because where I'm walking, this, uh, this road right here is slippery as you would not believe and I don't wanna eat it. A little frightened. But, but getting back to the subject, if you guys look over there, it's on this side too, it's parallel. But there's uh, this metal line going straight down that stairs. You can actually go from where we parked and walk all the way up and all the way down to, to the dam, which I feel like might be, might be pretty fun, in all honesty. I might go back down by taking the stairs. It seems like a bit of exercise though. Then again, if it's, it's, if it's slippery, like how this is slippery, I, I'm kind of scared. Probably have to hold the rail. But with all that being said, let's, let's take a look at the water again for, for a quick sec. The, the scenery over here too, I'm assuming this is also Chichibu, all of these uh, little buildings and houses and whatnots. I'm assuming that's, that's more Chichibu. These mountain ranges go like straight, straight across the, the countryside or what I'm considering in my mind to be the countryside. But uh, there's the one that we mistook for Chichibu, we actually ended up in Ogose because the mountain that's legit right behind our house, if you keep going, you end up either in a, like Ogawa Machi if you take one side I'll go say if you take the other side. There's another one going to Ogawa, which is the one that we should have taken because if you head towards Ogawa, you can end up in Chichibu. I'm saying Chichibu a lot, but it's just, it's kind of like a fun name to say, Chichibu. I wonder what the fishing's like over here. I, I bet you it's fantastic. I wouldn't mind fishing again, but I have to find part. There's like this river in Lanzan that a lot of people camp at. I see people camping there, I see people fishing there, but I don't know where to park for there. A lot of people, they drive to the riverside and they just park their cars and they have like the tents that are on their cars as well. But I don't know which road to take to actually get down there. So I think I gotta figure more out about that. I also wouldn't mind camping here. But camping equipment is kind of expensive here, at least compared to Hawaii. Like Hawaii, you go to Walmart, well, I guess this is for any Walmart. They have decent tents for around like whatever your price range is. Over here, like the cheapest tent I found is straight $50 and it's a quite small tent. If I go camping, I'd like to take the dogs. So you figure, uh, and my brother's not just gonna stay home by himself while me and the dogs are out camping and exploring the, the wildlife and nature, yeah? So we need quite a sizable tent. This is just, even the mountain up there, with the clouds hitting it, it's amazing. It seems like there's a staircase that goes all the way up, but I don't think that's open for public access. I could be mistaken. But it's kind of like uh, that hike that closed down on Oahu, Stairway to Heaven. I never went onto it, but my brother told me stories about it. Uh, a lot of people have to get uh, like medevaced out of there because they get stuck. But it's closed down, you can't tube it anymore. And I think you you just straight get a like a ticket or a fine. Or, I don't know if it goes as far as getting arrested. Could be. But it's basically like really steep staircases and ladders that just go straight up the, the mountain range in Hawaii on Oahu. But I wouldn't really know. I, I did... Uh, I don't even remember the name of the hike I did. There's one like treacherous hike that I did twice. And like my thighs and everything was just burning towards the end. I forget what it was called though. But at, towards the end of it is actual stairs and then this muddy slop of a, of a foothold. But this kind of reminds me, when you get to the very top, you're basically in a cloud. So given the the weather that day either you see a cloud and all of your hard work was for naught 
or you have a really good view of like um, Kaneohe area. Was it just amazing? I think the last dam I went to was Hoover Dam. And I was super young. I was super, super young. Especially that was like when I lived in the mainland. So that was, I think I was in elementary school because I did sixth grade and seventh grade on the mainland, but then eighth grade up, I was, I was Hawaii. So you can't really see this part that well because of this building. I'm trying to walk all the way down, but I kind of just want to take all of this in. Could just spend the whole, whole day here. There's, a, uh, there's offices over there. I see people going in and out. I don't know if there's like a gift shop or anything. So we're, we were standing over there and I showed you guys the stairs on the opposite side. I tried going in through that way, but the gates were closed. So I honestly thought that this whole place was closed. I got a little sad because we took a long drive out here. The brother was looking forward to it too. But um, he got out because there's a little bridge over there. Take a picture and he saw the entrance on the right side because we were on the left side. It ended up that that side was still open. Just nobody over there. And I'm kind of curious how all of those kids got here because I don't see any buses unless they all came from over there. Which means they're coming back up. So I might have to go through all of those children to, uh, to escape this place. <laughs> the water is really, really dark blue, like an emerald blue almost. Well, emerald is green, but it, it kind of does look green, but not shining, like a, like an old, oh, well, um, when it comes to like rocks and minerals, you measure the rocks like shininess by the luster scale. The luster scale is the shininess, L-U-S-T-E-R. Getting a little geeky on you guys right here. I was, I was in Science Olympiad when I was in high school. So um, if it was an emerald with a low luster value, meaning that it wasn't very shiny, and then you mix that with the blueness, I feel like that's the color of the water right now. Kind of like a, a very dirty luster emerald blue. Because it is, it is kind of green. I don't know if it's just reflecting all of this forestry and that's why it has like a greenish hue to it. It honestly could be. But, uh. I have to say, I very, very much like this place. Just because of, um, I do like the Northwest a lot. I like Washington State a lot. I grew up there for a little while. And to be able to go from like uh, one climate to the other climate and see like all of this forestry again is super nice. And also nobody is, nobody's here besides those couple groups of tour kids, but. We all went down already. Super stoked. Let's go uh, stand out the lookout over here. There's plenty of signs. And I am studying kanji a lot, but I don't know like every kanji. And some kanji is like, I'll look at it and be like, oh, I studied this, but then I'll just straight forget. Like I'll blank out. About 20 minutes later, I'll remember it. But I have to say Japan, this is, Truly beautiful. Surprised there's no like uh, temple or shrine over here. But that, that's just me being like stereotypical. Cause like, if you're looking out this way, right? And you would see like a temple or something like right over there. Like, I feel like that would be super Japanese-esque. There's a little rowboat actually down there. Like right, there's this little bend right here. And there's a robot right there. I don't know if you can make it out on the on the camera I'm using. I can't zoom in either, so sorry about that. But yeah, there's a little rowboat. Oh wait, no. It looks like a rowboat with a motor on it. I think there's tours here. I think the, the students were on a tour. I'm not quite sure hundred percent though. I think you'd have to come from the parking over there if you wanted to take a tour. 
But yeah, Urayama Dam, guys. Located in Chichibu. There's an elevator to come all the way up if you're doing the parking down below. And uh, if you manage to park over here, then you took the right route, I guess, because you got it easy. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed the dam as much as I did. Uh, just, it's not very much to walk, but just to something to take in is like truly magnificent. So I hope you guys have a good one and I'll see you in the next one.